Hey there, Boots Owen here. I've got a Henry in various pieces in front of me. HVR 212, it's a high-low. I found it on the street yesterday and it looks like it has been left, it was definitely out in the rain because it was raining when I found it, but it looked to have been left outside for quite some time. The box was full and gross and it will need, the filter will at least need a clean, but the dust shook out of it, it was used without a bag. But from the inside of the filter, it doesn't look like it was used too much. Because it was wet, I took it apart. There is a test from 2018. I don't know if that actually came off it. In here, you can see something weird going on. I think they've managed to catch some of a carrier bag. Oh, and it's still dripping from, from the water thing. So let's wipe down the table saw because I don't want that getting wet. It's got a bit of carrier bag or something in here, so it might be a quick job to pull that out. Although I think it is carrier bag. People are very peculiar in how they behave with things, but that's 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 not for right now. The motor, when I took it apart, the motor post motor filter down here it looks very clean. So I'm hoping it'll just work. And I'll give it a bit of a wipe. It's got some dandelion clocks stuck on it and I left it to dry out overnight. I took the screws out of the bottom. The high-low board is a blue one, which bizarrely has a live and a neutral on it. Let's just see how that's wired. Looks like it was sitting in water, but not on the part of the board that has any electronics. So that's positive. Slide that back in there. I'll get a damp cloth and I'll get some gloves on. We'll give it a bit of a wipe. So then there's nothing. This is really clean, you know. This is really, really clean in here. So I'm not going to try too hard on it. Bits of tree or something stuck in there. In fact, I'd rather get Henry to clean it. Okay, that's looking looking good. There's a bit of a smell off the dust bag, but that's kind of to be expected given that it was full of dust. Just give that a bit of a dry. Now this thing and this thing. I don't know where they came from. I think that goes like that. I think this goes like this, is it? Um, these three. Can't tell. I think it lines up. I think it lines up somehow, but I'm not entirely sure. Might be it. Let's just give it a go. So these cables have to clip in in here. Being well, it should just snap. Why isn't it snapping? Right. Because that wire is getting caught on top, that's why. I bet you it's back there again. Yep. This wire wants to jump up here for some reason. After jumping out of the groove, I'm getting caught. It. So three screws to go back in on the bottom. So I don't know if it works. I haven't tested it. I didn't want to test it in case it was still wet. So when you're taking it apart, if you're just if you just want to get the top off it, you take the four screws out from around the outside. Let's 
see one two up here up here three and four down here and if you want to get into the motor then you take out a further three the three that i'm putting in now so the next thing i'm going to do is take the cable off the carousel i don't know why i call it a carousel it's a cable reel but i've always called it a carousel for some reason where I've heard that. Alright, motor unit, high low unit. We'll just have a quick look in here and see if we think it looks clean and dry. It's very clean. Ooh, oh yeah, it's okay. I thought that, that connector was falling off, but it's a double connector. And that switch is not rocking. Oh, very stiff switch for the high-low and the on They could be full of water. That's an issue, maybe. Let's take a look inside. I need a smaller screwdriver. Try and keep everything together when you do this. It looks okay and it looks quite dry. Hope it's the right way around. Doesn't feel great in there. <sighs> but it is dry. I'm not going to do much more with that. There's a little spring loaded buttons are okay. As you can see I'm leaving evidence that I've been in here. You could probably use a plastic tool to bludgeon your way in there but I'm obviously not. Now cable reel. It does smell a bit of somebody else's dirty house. Somebody else's dirty machine. I'll do is I'll unroll it and then pull the cable through the cloth. I'm kind of interested to see what this orange thing is. This cable didn't dry out overnight. How have they managed to get this in here? Because it's a bit of, I would say, Sainsbury's bag, judging by the colour. Although, no, it's some kind of orange tape. I don't know. Either way, it's a foreign, a foreign body. So I'll get my cleaning sock. Whether or not you clean this is kind of up to you out here, because this, this bit around the edge because you'll never see it again once it's tied into the machine it kind of comes down to how thorough you want to be you can take it completely apart and put it in the dishwasher right I pull this cable through my hands using the sock as a cloth to clean it there's nothing on it other than tap water. You could put a bit of washing up liquid onto it, but then you've got bubbles. So there could be any number of faults. What have I seen recently? Broken cables, mostly recently, where the cable had uh, the cable had failed internally at the plug was the last one I saw. I've seen quite a few failed switches recently.
Ah, that plug pin is bent. That's an issue. That could be it. Sometimes when you're cleaning things, you get to know them. You get to see what's going wrong. Right, cable, you're going back on the floor. <clears throat> I'm going to dry this a bit. to dry it inside but I think I'll just leave it apart for now if it gets going. I didn't really understand the benefit of a high-low switch but uh, somebody told me that people who detail cars like them because they can turn the suck down. Apparently that's useful in some fields. I really understand because as far as I'm concerned if you're cleaning something you want to suck it away but if you know about that tell me in the comments because I'm interested to know what the point is I, I think if you're doing like rugs on the floor you know they'll skate all over the place if you don't have them I don't know not screwed down but held down somehow so let's put this cover back on here just snaps in and sit this here it was pretty clean so I don't mind starting it Sit that on top, turn it off. I don't know which way it was on and off actually, I think. Let's bend this pin back. So with a pair of pliers. Is it broken? Or did it just click the plastic? It feels okay. So that's on. Well, there isn't much to this, I've got to say. This is good, from my point of view. It's the second Henry I found recently, with a high-low, that has on the face of it been working. Now, that plug could have been the long and the short of it. There could be another reason, like, somebody was, you know, at this time of year, it's student houses near me that are being abandoned by the students, and people tidy up and just put things outside to go away, because they don't want them anymore. And that's a crime in itself, but not one of the ones that the law is interested in. So, this one came with a hose and a stick. It's just a matter for me now to um, give the body a good scrub. Put the filter into a washing machine. Ugh, that's, oh, that's gross. I'll put the filter in with the hose, and that'll clean two things at the same time. And screw it back together. There's not much more to see at that. Uh, I might do a wrap up at the end perhaps or this might be the end of the video i was just about to bring the hose in to put it in the wash and i thought i'll have a look at this pipe because the stainless steel bits are fine but for some reason it's got a chromed steel piece up at the top for the bent bit and i just wanted to take it apart because i can reuse the shiny bits and they just twist off you can see light at the end of that tunnel let's try this one this might be stiffer to get off Mmm, much stiffer. I might have to hammer that off, but I can see light coming down through the bend. But when I looked in here, I thought that looks okay. But maybe it doesn't. So let's get a hook, an engineer's pick, and just see if this is why it was thrown out. Is there something in there? There is. Could it be this simple? More than likely. I don't even need a hook. I probably could have shaken that out. That's why this was thrown out. I don't know, the plug was probably a problem that came later. Give me a break. You're throwing it out because you can't find a bottle cap. You're trying to hoover up a bottle cap. Oh dear. Well, that's the world we live in. Thanks for watching. See you later.